Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to do part one of the build of the LEGO Star Wars First Order Transporter. This is set number 75103, 792 pieces, and we have the transporter and a slew of minifigures, including Captain Phasma. We have one, two, wait, two Flame Trooper, <laughs> two First Order Flame Troopers, uh, two First Order Stormtroopers, a Resistance, and two Resistance Soldiers, a male and a female. All right. Enough of the talking. We're here to see the build. Let's see what is in the contents of this box. Move this down a bit. All right. So we have quite a few numbered bags. Bag six, so bag three. There's bag one. Bag four. Five. And bag two. Right. That should make it fairly easy. We'll do bag one through three in this video. Alright, we have one instruction book, and oh, I was hoping there'd be no stickers, but there is a tiny sticker sheet in the little bag that has the instruction book, and I really like when they put the instruction books in the bags because it prevents them from getting damaged. Alright. There's our contents from bag one. I have two small bags of parts. I'm just gonna dump those off to the side, try not to mix them up with the bigger parts. All right, so we're gonna begin with our uh, first order stormtroopers. And these guys are identical. Maybe their faces are different. Nope. Their faces are identical as well. I don't know how well you could see it. They have the same helmets and they have the same little blasters. But when you're building an army, that's typically the way it is. They all pretty much look the same. Same uniform, same issued helmet and weapon. So that's two soldiers from the, um, the First Order Army. All right, so now we're just gonna jump right into the build. Let's start with the, this Technic boxed frame. So right away we're, well right away I'm doing it wrong. I put these in the wrong spot. Alright, now we're back on our way. What I was going to say is right away we're, we're adding some Technic stuff that's going to make this build pretty strong. Anytime you see Technic elements in a build, that means it's going to be really strong. Guaranteed. Unless you do it wrong. This is a good set if you like a lot of grays and blacks. And one orange thing, whatever this thing is. We have this 12 long, 12 length, and it's 12 because if you put it next to a brick and count the studs, it actually equals 12 studs. So that's why they call it a 12 long. So we'll slide this axle all the way through that Technic brick. We have a couple more brackets. And 
another Technic frame piece. And two more brackets. other 12 long axle, slide it through, and attach it to the... Nice. Did you see that? Okay. It's going to be an easy fix. This model's a little flimsy right now. Attach those black bricks back to the bracket. I should have put this piece on first. This would have helped hold it together. Studs and a tan plate here. All right, so now it's all locked in and sturdy. Another Technic brick with another axle joiner. Technic pieces. That. Something that will be moving to play feature of some sort. Now it looks like we're going to connect the other side. Okay, so we have this little Technic assembly put together. Slide this long axle through this Technic brick. Attach that there. And then we slide the red axle through and then the gray axle through. Good so far. Now we have some bricks that we're going to stack on here. Large plate here. Thin plate back there. This is going to be part of a door or something, because it has the hinge pieces right here. Good. 
three of these tan plates spanning across here. We have this axle that has a stop on the end, and the stop prevents it from going all the way through the, the axle holes. You can see how it stops right there, it won't go any further. Now we have six tan brackets. It's basically three on each side. Tan plate there. smaller gray brackets and a plate spanning across that. Definitely a lot of Technic bricks in this build so far. It may, may not continue to have that many, but a lot more than I expected. Well, actually I didn't know what to expect, so I can't really say that. Alright, so this fluted round piece that you can see, that's what allows you to grip and open this and close it, or rotate it up, or whatever the play feature ends up being. Alright, I have a red Technic brick, I'll put a friction pin in there, attach another brick. our first sticker. They don't number these stickers. There's only four of them on there. So maybe they decided you could figure it out. We don't need to number them. Alright. So there's that little thing. Of course it's not fully built so it's kind of flopping around once we get everything built the way it should it should uh, hold it all together okay I think this is going to be the part that's going to hold it together these gray thin lift arms, attach them to those tan pins that are exposed. Now that holds it in its place. So it looks like some sort of control panel thing that pops up. Very good. We'll keep it in the downward position probably for the rest of the build until they tell us to pop it back up. All right, time for our second sticker. Carefully trying to put that on as straight as possible. Looks like I nailed it. First try. Oh, I forgot to put that on there. 
All right, that completes bag one. Made a little bit of progress. Let's go ahead and move on to bag number two. Okay, we have everything dumped out. There's no minifigures in this bag number two. We're just gonna continue on building the, uh, the transporter. There's uh, also a ton of gray parts, dark and light, bluish gray. A little bit of black scattered in there, so if that's the colors you like for your builds, then you're probably gonna love this set. Be a good set to grab when it goes on sale. Stock up on some good parts. Okay, so we have some clips with these. Um, wedge fan type pieces. One's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. Actually this wedge. stud on top of this modified one by one plate. Another red stud. That goes there and it's actually holding that little wedge fan piece down. That blade. Repeat that step for the other side. And that holds that little blade down. We need to hold it down because we're going to put another one on. Right on top of it. Both sides. And we're going to repeat the same detail over here. This stud on the, the bottom. I just need the stud on the top. Because we already have the bottom stud. And once again, repeat the same element. It's kind of getting repetitive, right? I think this is the last one. I'm seeing no more of these wedge blade pieces. Okay. That was easy enough. Put a couple of plates on here. Hold this together. And we do have one more. Have these little tooth pieces on the top. Those plates are tying into those those little tooth pieces and uh, holding all that together. Next up, we have an assortment of slopes and whatnot. There's my piece I drop. I'm trying to build too fast. Alright. So we did all those slopes and bricks inside there. 
Next up, it looks like a little sub build. We have a couple bricks with clips and these long bricks. One by sixes. We're really starting to define the shape of the transporter now. Okay, we have these black bricks with studs on the side. You can see those studs will allow something to be attached to them. And we have a couple more one by one with clips, one by sixes, and then these quick hinge bricks go on the end. We got two of them there. Okay, so we come back to the back side of the vehicle. Have some brackets. And more brackets. Have a brick with studs on the side. Or put a black cheese slope on there. Everything's looking good so far. That's a one by four bricks. And it's two by two bricks. Now we have some Technic bricks. Friction pins, attach those two together. more friction pins. Attach that one. And this. Slides right in there. Kind of one of those moment of truth if everything you did previously was correct. That should have fit perfectly in there. If it didn't fit, then uh, we messed something up. But looks like we got it good. So inverted slopes. Plate there. going on on the front here. This will kind of give it some support. 
across the top. A couple more plates here. All right, so we have four of these brackets that have trans clear one by one tiles, round tiles. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tiles on all four of them right now. attach across this plate. It's the lights. Alright, now we're going to tile the rest of this up. Starting here, these large gray tiles, some trans red. gray and on each one of these inverted slopes goes a trans red one by one tile Pieces. Oops. I actually forgot that plate goes there. I'll put the plate on first and then the tiles. Now we're cooking. Alright, so that completes bag number two. So we're going to move on to our third bag right now. Okay, we have all the parts dumped out and we do have our next two minifigures. These are going to be the uh, Resistance soldiers. We have a male and female soldier. They're just, uh, I guess, random soldiers. They're not one of the main characters from the movie. That's why they're just called Resistance soldiers. They both have the same resistance issued blaster. So there they are. Very good. Move them to the side. Well, there are there many figures? Alright, so it looks like we're going to build a, a door to the uh, trooper, I mean the uh, transporter, before we start adding anything else to it. Two of these hinged plates. It's basically half of one of the hinges. So we're going to put a non-friction pin in there and then a blue friction pin with an axle. It's half friction pin, half axle. It goes there. Put that down. A little Technic sub build to do. Turn 
run this over. That goes there. Transporter over and make sure this thing is not down in there because we're going to connect it to that axle. So we align those pieces up, that falls right in place. And now this axle gets pushed in. Joiner piece somewhere there it is. This gets put in in the back. You see, it has a limited range of movement, but when you pull it, pull it, it opens the door. It actually holds that door in place as well. Without pulling it, it opens, pushing it to close. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to move this to the side. We have another little sub build to do. Um, black studs. Not quite sure what this is that we're building just yet. I have six of these double wide cheese slopes. And a bracket with a two by two round. Wheels. This must be one of the engines that goes right back there on those tan brackets. So we have a wedge brick go there. the side we have another little sub build to do so this is probably just another body panel for the uh, trooper transport. So 
of the first white pieces I've seen in a while in this set. and attached to all these brackets that are already on there and then those bricks with the studs on the side all of that lines up perfectly and we're good all right so now it looks like we're going to build the engine for the other side once we have the engine and the, the body panel built for the other side be done with this portion of the build. Appreciate you guys sticking around this long. If you've made it this far, put a comment down below. Let me know who all is really watching these things. You know, I get a lot of views, but people don't really watch the whole video, which I understand. I mean, it can get a little mundane and boring at times, but I know I have my my true fans out there that watch the whole video, so let me know who you are, put a comment down below. Appreciate all of the support that I get from all my fans. It motivates me to keep doing this. Okay, I got six of the cheese slopes. I'll make sure I don't Okay I put that orange tile on the other side. I'll have to look at that real quick after we get this one on. Where's that thing hitting? now. It's all on there now. Nope, I did forget it. Um, that does it for this, uh, portion of the build. I have an extra plate I shouldn't have, so I'll go back and figure out where that should have went. Because you normally don't get one of these extra. You normally get all of these small stuff that could potentially get lost. So, thanks for watching. This finishes part one. Make sure to check out my other videos. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed, that way you don't miss any of these daily build videos, and we'll see you tomorrow.